Make a smiley face. Make whatever you want. And what I'm doing is I'm making homemade potato chips, homemade tortilla chips, which is wonderful. It's healthy, it's good, they taste light, there's no preservatives, there's no sodium, all those things that we're trying to stay away from these days. So what I have over here, I have the flame going. If you notice, the handles always, for me in my kitchen, the handles are always off to the left or the right and never over the side of the stove because if you have little ones running around, you don't want them to get, you know, hurt. So I always, Keep the handles to the side. You're gonna let this get hot, hot, hot. I'm gonna let this get hot, and then I'm just gonna place them in one by one by one. So I'm gonna let this get hot, and then we're gonna make our homemade chips, which is a wonderful time. Okay, so my chicken is cooking. It is almost done, and that's one thing I hate is undercooked chicken. So you definitely want to cook that as much as you possibly can. So now that all these flavors Mmm, have gotten in there. I want to go ahead and add my mushrooms. And I add this last, just a little bit here, just to get the flavor on the chicken. And so that, again, I don't like to overcook my vegetables because what's the point of eating vegetables if you overcook it and you cook out all of their nutrients? So I'm going to let that do its thing. And like I said, normally for me, I don't like to cook that much. I'm not a cook. I would have made a lot of this chicken to last me at least two days. I never ate leftovers before, but I'm all about it now that I don't have a lot of money these days, right? Not a lot of money. So you gotta eat leftovers. So now our oil is sort of boiling there. And what I did use was canola oil, but you can use whatever you like. You can use olive oil. So you just put it in. You just drop your chips in. They will start to fry up and you're making your homemade chips to go with your fajitas. All right, so we're gonna let that happen. Let's get it in there. Be careful, don't put your finger in there like I did, but I'm not afraid of my food. You have to touch your food, you know? All right, so we're just letting that do it. We're letting that do its thing. See what we got going on here. Right now, what I have the temperature at is 200, and I think I'm gonna turn it up a little bit because I want a little more action here. Oh, and it just smells wonderful. And to be honest with you, I'm such a picky eater and I'm a germaphobe, so I have to do things like a particular way, a little OCD situation going on here. I like everything to taste separate. I don't like everything to taste the same way. So I stopped my vegetables from cooking, I started my chicken, everything is separate, and now I'm going to add it all together so that everything has a different flavor. I usually don't even like to use the same spatula on different things because I like everything to taste separate all the time. All right, so I've used a lot of my ingredients. Again, my lovely whole wheat tortillas. Whole wheat, so good. So good for you. So as that's cooking up, I'm gonna put the top on there so it'll cook a little faster. Our presto makes it sound like it's gonna do it all by itself, which is great. Hear that sound? That's doing its thing. My chips are a cooking. Gary Pickus style. And if they curl up on you, no problem, right? This is easy breezy cooking. No judgment. We don't judge ourselves when we're cooking, right? Because it's supposed to be fun. All right, so everything is cooking because like I said before, I like everything to be done at the same time. All right, so again, I wanna point out to you the previous challenge that I made for you in your community. If you would like to go out, help your neighbors, they might be in need, you never know. It's extremely hard to ask for help. So go out, try to set up a campaign in your neighborhood where you can get just a box placed outside for your neighborhood pantry. Uh, and somebody, you know, when you finish doing your shopping, you bought a dollar, a can of beans, or some rice or something, just throw it in that box and it'll be distributed to the people that are in need of, in your community, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So that is a challenge for everyone out here uh, and everyone out there in your own community. Okay, so everything is looking good. I don't like to cook complicated meals because for me, cooking for friends and family is really about socializing. The kitchen is a place that everyone always congregates, whether it's family, whether it's a party of friends, everybody congregates in the kitchen because uh, they want to be near the goodness. So I don't cook things that make me stress out. I don't cook things that freak me out or I think I'm gonna fail because you can't fail with cooking. All you gotta do is experiment. Some people are afraid of spices. Don't be afraid, just throw it in the pan. It'll be 
be good. All right, that is looking very, very nice. I just want to get a little shot of that. Nice and lovely. We got some sauces going on there, and you can add more beer if you like. Any reason to drink on the job, right? All right. That's working its way out. I have my fajita, my roll here. Oh, let's check on our chips. Hot, but don't be afraid to touch your food like I said. Hot, but don't be afraid to touch your food. Chefs do it all the time. Homemade chips, so good. I'm gonna throw that in for a little bit more. Oh, absolutely wonderful. And I'm all about healthiness, ladies and gentlemen. There's no reason to not eat healthy. Take that off the fire, turn the fire off. Always keeping the handle to the side, like I said, for safety, for your own safety. Maybe you forget that you're doing something. You don't wanna get that hot grease on you. All right, so that's looking good. That's looking good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this into this, into this plate here. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take a different plate. Again, I have that OCD thing going on. Uh, so I'm gonna transfer that. And I'm not a huge fan of frying everything. So I always like to add a little bakage somewhere along the line. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna stop the chicken from cooking most of all. My vegetables can keep going. I got no problem with that because vegetables are great and they can cook, but not too much. Cause like I said, I don't like to cook out the nutrition. All right, so there we got that going. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna throw the rest of my vegetables in there because I want all the vegetables to get the loveliness. My chips are doing good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take my fajita roll, I'm gonna preheat my oven. If I knew how to use Papa Tuck's oven, oh, here we go. I think I'm doing the right thing here. I think I am. All right, go on, turn on, okay. Papa Tuck, turn on my stove. Yeah! Yeah! Well, Papa Tuck's kitchen. Thank you very much. Just turn on my stove and get out of here. This is my debut show. What do you want it at? I want it at 300, please. So, like I said, I'm not a big fan of washing dishes. So, thank you so much, Papa Tuck. This will be great. So, what I'm going to use is, is my Pyrex dish here, and normally, like I said, I don't like washing dishes. Yeah, that yeah. no good. You can't have none yet. Get out of here. All right, so what I'm going to, what I would normally do in my own home is place foil on the bottom of this so that I don't have to wash it later. I can just, you know, do a lot of light dish soap situation, and it'll be fine. Put a little foil on the bottom. I'm going to take my fajita, roll up there, and I'm going to place the chicken. And you can cut up your chicken if you like. If you like. I like to everything to be sort of julienne. Make sure we get some of that good sauce in there. So we're gonna wrap this up. This is the end of the meal, ladies and gentlemen. What I do now is I add my cheese. I'm gonna roll this puppy. See, everything I make looks like a burrito. But that's the fun thing about cooking is that it does not have to be precise. Do not judge yourself. The very final touch, the final touch, the golden touch on my fajitas is putting everything into your burrito roll. Roll it up, your cheese, your onions, your, your peppers. Put it into your family pan. Foil on the bottom for easy cleanup. Put a little cheese over the top because cheese is everybody's friend. Put that there. You got your homemade chips. You got your lovely, all natural, amazing fajitas. Put these in the oven at uh, whatever temperature you like because if you want to have it as a knife and fork meal, you want to eat it with a knife and fork, you can make it a little uh, less crunchy, but if you want to just bite right into it, I'd put it on say 250, 300 for about five minutes. So thank you so much for joining me in Papa Tuck's kitchen. The next time you see Papa Tuck, he'll have new digs. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.